Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm in the Photoshop beta, but I'm going to show you the new tool that's just about to come out that can make you create perfect lighting techniques. This is going to be incredible. We're going to be able to adjust the exact diameter, the ratio, the direction, the type of lighting, whether or not it's just in a pinpoint area, whether it's a spotlight or it's a directional light like I've got going on here, or if I go over to another example here, I've got a light just around the mask here and nothing else. If you could see that here, I'll turn it on and off. I'm going to show you how to do this and it should only take a few minutes and you'll be an expert in lighting. Let's get going. All right, here we go. So here is the original image. It's nice and dark and haunted and scary, but I want to go ahead and create a directional light coming from this area that only kind of takes up the top left of it quadrant. While at the same time, I also want to show you how to just light her scary mask and kind of have everything else darkened out. And I don't want to make this over complicated. So again, let's just get going here. The first step, I'm going to go to the bottom here, click on create new fill or adjustment layer, create an exposure adjustment layer. And then when you do that under properties, you'll see exposure. We are now going to turn the lights out. Now, I mean, she's very pretty, but we got to turn the lights out on this one. Uh, she's a little scary in my book. So there we go. I'm going to reduce it to about three point minus 3.98. And I'm going to basically turn the lights out. If your image is too bright, you can darken it. If it's too dark, you can go the other way with the exposure and brighten it, depending on what you need to do. Okay, good. So we've reduced the exposure. You'll see here it's created an adjustment layer and it's got a nice little mask here. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I'm going to make sure I'm selected on the top layer here and that the little brackets are around the mask. I'm now going to go to the left side and I'm going to grab my gradient tool. When I do that, take a look here. First off, I've got black to white. If you don't see that, you can set default and foreground background colors and they will probably go white to black and then you can just click this little arrow and reverse them. So you want black at the top, white on the bottom. Now, up at the top here, you're going to see gradient. You probably got gradient selected. That's correct. Make sure that's good to go. Now, under this little drop down, you're going to see a few different options under basic. What we want is black to white or in this case, foreground to background. Either way, it's fine as long as the left side's black and the bottom side is right or the right side is, is white. Now, in terms of the type of gradient, you're probably on the classic gradient or the normal linear gradient. We want to select the second one in, which is radial gradient. Once you've got all of that in place, now we're just going to paint on the light. So again, all you got to do is just watch this. I'm going to move this over a little bit so you can see. And then, oops, I'm going to just click out here and then just drag down. And here we go. This is step one. This is the old, you know, create the directional light source. Now, the great thing about this, and this is coming, this is in the Photoshop beta. It's coming to the full version very shortly, is A, I can move it around. So depending on where I want the light to be, I could put it right here, for example. Let's go with something like that. But look at this. If I grab this little white dot, I can change the direction and I can change the shape so I can make it a narrow slot. So if it was coming through like a door slot, for example, or the heavens just opened up, there we go. We've got a narrow light. If I want a big wide light, I can do it just like that. So again, this is very, very cool. Also, I can move this in and out. So if I want to create it a little bit smaller, like let's say I only want to have a short, small little light coming through the top here. Again, it's things you can do this makes great adjustments. This makes great directional lighting and it's easy to adjust is what I meant to say. Also, you'll see here the midpoint white midpoint slider. If I move it to the left, it's a very lesser, I guess you'd say, I, don't know, I guess that's the right word. It's a limited amount of lighting, but if I move it to the right, it's quite a bit more. So there you go. You can move these and adjust them as you see fit. Also, if you want a spotlight effect, this is probably the best way to do it. Watch this. I'm just going to pull this in nice and, night, ter uh, nice and tight and narrow. And let's go with something like that. And then maybe I'll pull it in a bit more. Maybe something like that. Let's say I just want to light the mask. I'll put the black point or the midpoint right in the middle of the eyes, right between the eyes, so to speak. I'll pull this out a little bit. And you see here, I'm basically just dialing in exactly what I want. So we've done a directional light. We've done some pinpoint lighting. If you want to, if you want to change the entire, you can just create an exposure layer and adjust it. And that affects the entire image. 
and this is literally all there is to it. Also, if you find that it's not enough, so let's say I click out here, grab my move tool, we could turn this on or off. Okay, that looks pretty good. You can always create a second layer, so I'm just going to duplicate this, and then presto, it's even more pronounced. And then, if you want to, you can dial in the various opacity levels here, so if you want it to be limited, if you want it to be extremely dark, and anything in between. Similarly, I'll turn this one off. I'll show you one last technique while I got you here. You can go ahead and exchange the uh, change the exposure level level. So if I wanted to maybe change it ex post, I can pull it down a little bit or I can pull it up. So again, these are all different things you can do. If I click on the mask as well here, check this out. I can change the density of it. So if I want it to be a little less dense, there you go. If I want it to be a little more and I want maybe it's a little bit too hard around the edges, for example, I can adjust the feather, so I'll just increase the feather a little bit. I can increase the density, and I can literally dial in whatever type of lighting I'm looking for or the effect I'm going for, the direction, the width, the ratio, everything using this one technique. Thanks for watching.